Okay, so my arm's at it again. Uh, I don't know if you've ever seen this before, but I've recorded it once before, but I took the video down because I said some pretty negative things in it about myself. And I don't want everybody to think that I'm really negative. Um, so when my brain is overstimulated, my arm goes crazy and I, I literally, I, I can't control, I can't control it. Sometimes I smack myself. And it's annoying. It's much better than it used to be. Anyway, I'm going to tell you the events that have happened. Well, just basically barely tell you about, just a little bit about why and how little it takes. All right, look at that, I'm just sitting on it to make it stop for now. Um, but it, I, uh, I also stutter, stuttering. When my brain is just overstimulated, over easy things, like little tiny things that most people wouldn't even notice. My arm goes nuts on me and I start to stutter and I get a headache, of course. The headache just, it just comes in. It, it comes first, but I have learned to power through the headaches, usually. But what I can't handle is when I can't control my body. Like, I can't control my arm right now. It's rare, it doesn't happen very often. Uh, but there was a bunch of stuff that went down at work and I needed to fill in as a health coach at Balance of Nature, which is a really, really cool job. It's really fun. And they get to talk to the Balance Nature's customers. And it's actually a job that I'm really good at. And I was having a lot of fun doing it, but I, I don't know what it was. I think it was, it, it's in a call center obviously. So I think it was maybe like the background noise along with trying to focus on the customer's notes plus like um, trying to type and talk at the same t t time. It, I don't know, triggered something in my brain that just, it, it turned everything into overdrive, I guess. Um, it makes me sad, because being a health coach for Balance of Nature is actually something that I would really like to do. I, I really like talking to the customers and encouraging them and getting to know them and stuff. And you would think that working in a call center is something anybody could do, right? I, well, and balance of nature, fruits and veggies, it's even, it, it's, it's not something anybody could necessarily do because you need to have a love for the product and understand it. And who better than me to talk about that stuff? Honestly, I'm Dr. Howard's daughter and I, the product saved my life and I love it, but being a health coach caused this today and that frustrates me. At least I, the few calls that I did do, I feel went well and it, it made me feel like a missionary again because really what I was doing was I was calling people and following up on them and making sure that they, um, we're keeping their commitments and making their bodies and lives healthier and happier. Uh, and what they t what my dad teaches is about the a health triad, and it's different than Da Vinci's triad. My dad's is one side is chemical, one side is physical, and one side is spiritual. And the chemical side is like what we put in, into our bodies. And then the physical side is obviously like the physical activities and stuff that we do. And then the spiritual side is whatever is spiritual or mental to you, like learning something. And it's your brain just increasing your brain abilities or meditation, getting to know God, feeling the spirit. It was really fun to talk to people about those three sides of the triad today because it reminded me of the ones that I'm not doing so well at and I want to be better. Then my physical 
slash mental slash spiritual all goes down when my body goes out of control when my arms goes out of control and I start to stutter and I start to get um I start to get all like bogged up in my my in my my head I don't want to I get embarrassed I am embarrassed it's because it, it kind of freaks people out and it freaks me out and it's I can't focus on what I'm doing or saying or anything because all I want is my freaking arm to stop going crazy on me and it really drives me nuts like seriously so what I have to do now is I it and the other frustrating obviously I can't keep my train of thought sorry but another frustrating thing is this happened within a matter of just a couple of hours and I think there was just too much chatter going on around me everybody was working and doing a good job but I they just there was too much going on even though all I was doing was calling people I I think I could do this job if I were in a closed office by myself maybe but I can't, I can't be in the call center. And that makes me sad because I really love the call center. I really love balance of nature. And believe it or not, this, like, <laughs> it looks like I'm faking it. I'm watching it. It's funny. But this right here is way better than it ever was before. Like, it used to, I, I, I can, I am controlling this to a point. I mean, like, my arm is doing what it wants to do and my hand is taking over but at least I'm not smacking myself in the face because as soon as my arm goes this way I flex my arm and it tells like and then I can control that part <laughs> that I'm just pointing, trying to point at <laughs> okay now my arm goes back under the leg uh, anyway I'm really um depressed about this today but I'm trying to not be because it's just it's just one of those things that I just have to overcome and recognize that it's better today than it was a year ago and go put myself in a dark room and stop all brain stimulation like that damn clock and uh, lay down until it goes away. <sighs> Seriously, can you imagine not being able to control a part of your body? It's so obnoxious. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah. <laughs>